Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be going to Minmus, um, which is honestly uh, far less impressive than going to the moon. Uh, I would argue that the moon is way more difficult if um, you know you know what you're doing. If you you kind of understand how the orbital mechanics work, you got a solid grasp of how things go. So here we are. We're just tweaking the moon lander. Um, honestly, I, I probably, again, go overboard, as is my style in this game. I mean, I think it's in the spirit of Kerbal to go overboard, but, you know, I, I digress. You, you want to, do you want to tweak things so you have lots of room to, for, you know, lots of, lots of comfort uh, buffer zones so you don't, you don't have to, you know, count every single meter per second delta V. It, it just doesn't really work well when you're when you're cutting every corner so you know i like to add some corners um but we can see something something kind of isn't working right here so i have to go back figure out what's going on this this kind of example uh, exemplifies why uh staging is really important state like it's kerbal has gotten better over the years but i have done my fair share of uh struggling with the staging to try and get exactly uh, everything right and uh, you've learned I've learned how to combine certain things so that there's less you know hitting the space bar and uh, you know more of what we what we enjoy which is just flying the rocket right but and also you know honestly like as much as this ga uh, is a game about you know getting everything right and uh, making sure we got all of our all of our numbers correct I also firmly believe that this is a game about making space travel fun and there's nothing more fun than watching a bunch of your booster rockets go flying off in different directions as you sail off towards the moon so anyway here's our our first of two minmus trips yes uh, we do two here um and you, you're gonna see why maybe a bit later but i decided to do something really dicey here and instead of um landing with our lander uh, I decided to try and land a, a pin on its head uh, on an apple and uh, I do manage to actually get it right with the help of RCS and SAS um, but uh, yeah I don't know I don't know what com compelled me other than the fact that I didn't feel like shedding 1500 Delta V and you know what since it worked out I'm gonna go ahead and say that I was right to try um, but you know we get our science we leave we're all good to go. Minmus is about half the size of the moon, so it's really, really easy to take off. You really don't even have to worry about how much delta V you have once you've uh, landed on on Minmus. It is a bit bumpier than the moon, so yeah, landing can be a bit trickier. But honestly, since there's so much less gravity, uh, there's much less to to kind of worry about. Um, so we we decouple, we use up our delta V to to make the um, entry a little bit gentler. But since I know uh, 50,000 meters is pretty much the sweet spot for doing an aero break entry, uh, you know, it all goes without, off without a hitch, except for this part where I, I don't know if I was going too quickly. And I honestly don't think I was. It looked like it was 10 meters per second there, but that was apparently enough to break our ship completely. And so I lost a lot of the science that I had gained from... Uh, you know some of our our chunks our science chunks so to the drawing board i redesigned things just a little bit to give us a little bit of delta v on the part that matters so that i would land with the part that matters but uh you know foreshadowing um i i, I be, you know I'm, I'm full of ego and pride and decide again to land with the pin and it costs us our on our second try but either way i have improved the, the ship a little bit with um, little tweaks here and there and some better uh, thrusters uh, as well as new solar panels which look like giant rabbit ears but um, you know we, we we're like this is becoming a little bit like you know you've seen it you've seen it all it's all the same we uh, make our intercept we uh, you know spend our delta v to make the intercepts happen we you know uh, retrograde burn and like you know I think I think once you've um, seen this a few times it starts to become a little bit redundant but nonetheless this uh, second landing is much more exciting than the first uh, because I decide again as I say to land a pin on an apple and uh, 
yeah, it, it doesn't necessarily go well. And uh, this is the moment where I panicked. You can actually hear my heart stop at that moment. And then, y yeah, most people would consider that a crit critical failure. I, um, you know, I could have loaded for sure, but I figured, you know what, this is interesting um, to say the least. And I still have most of my last stage left. Um, I'm just missing one tank with an engine. Uh, everything else is fine. The science is fine. Everything's cool. So let's try and make this work, right? We do how, you know, I actually happen to have Jebediah Kerman, the greatest pilot. Um, so why not try and make this work? So I, I, I fiddle around with it and I, I realize with a very, very uh, limited burn, I can kind of fly the thing straight. Any stronger than basically the the most gentlest burn and the thing starts to fly out of control but uh and, and i'm pretty sure we're out of rcs at this point so i can't really just you know use rcs to to make the thing straight or if i did i i tried and it still didn't work so uh we managed to get away from minmus and we managed to uh create um you know an intercept with kerbin not that that's impressive at all i mean you know but we uh you know using this very janky uh, flight of, of basically <laughs> half a plane or half a half a rocket. Um, I'm able to to create our our uh, aero break again with Kerbin, and it was pretty fun. I mean, like uh, this is you know I, I gotta appreciate the fact that to Kerbin even when it breaks, it breaks in an interesting way, and it makes for some interesting challenges to overcome there uh there'll be some really uh pretty interesting challenges to overcome in the next episode when i try and gain um gather some science from duna uh, you'll see what i mean things do break in an interesting way but anyway if you uh enjoyed this definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time for some more ksp take it easy